They face Joey Wentz, who makes his sixth start of the year. Pretty good last time out against Baltimore. He can throw strikes, be in the strike zone, can, and get into pitchers' counts. That's where he has success. Brandon Nemo laid off at a rough series against the Braves, went just two for 12. Right back to him. Good reflexes and one away. Marte right. hitting 270 against left handers. Marte drives one out to center field. On comes Riley Green, and the right fielder Veerling comes in and makes nope. a diving attempt and comes up empty. Veerling, who's been playing an outstanding right field, came out of nowhere and nearly pulled that off. Lindor batting 215. He has four home runs. His 22 runs batted in are tied for fifth best in the National League. Strikes out Lindor for the second out. Good curveball by Joey Wentz two away. So two on Marte still at first. Here's Pete Alonso. Fly ball shallow right center. Verlander calls for it. Should say Veerling calls for it and he makes the catch. The Mets are out. Here come the Tigers. The Tigers have really struggled offensively. Last in the American League and run scored and Joey Lucchese will try and keep him that way. Matt Veerling leads things off. Here's the first churve, and it's grounded out to Lindor. Takes the two hopper and throws out Veerling for the first down. Javi Baez at the plate. There's two home runs off this lefty. Baez goes the other way for a base hit. The strike one to Riley Green. Swinging the line drive into center field, sinking, and a diving grab by Nimmo. No, it fell out of his glove. And down to second base, Javi Baez dances around second and holds there. Looked like Nimmo had that ball, and then he rolled, and you see the ball by his left side of his body, and two on, one out here in the first. Early scoring chance for Eric Haas. Fly ball, deep right field. Marte turning, looking out of here. Three run bomb, his first of the year for Eric Haas. Opposite field, three run home run. And the Tigers jump out. Four batters in to a 3 0 lead. Jonathan Scope batting sixth and playing second base here today. Lifted left field. Drifting over, Tommy Pham. Still searching, and that ball is off the wall. Scope. Took a little while to get going. Now he hits the bag and he puts on the brakes. He'll settle for a double. Jonathan Scope, I don't think, I don't know, Jimmy. He could have easily, I think, been on third on that one. Fly ball off the wall. He'll take the two-out double. Diabanez, a chance to drive him home. And he drives one out to center, chasing Nimmo back, all the way back, and Nimmo makes the catch. And that retires the side. Second inning, Tommy Pham leads off for New York. And the curveball whacked down the left field line right toward the corner, and it's out of here. Tommy Pham with a line drive home run just inside the left field foul pole. That snaps that 0 for 17, his third home run of the year, and the get Mets get one back immediately. So a love-hate relationship with that corner now. Pham just jammed his hip into the wall and decides to put one right over the top tape into the seat that just just snuck over the yellow line Canada the designated hitter batting 225 with two homers and nine runs batted in the one one fastball driven in the air to right that's pretty deep Veerling back at the track looks up it's gone an opposite field home run for Mark Canna the Mets second home run of this inning already the third home run in this game we're only in the top of the second and the Mets have cut the Tigers lead to three to two for Canna, his third home run of the year. Bottom of the third, two, three, and four hitters for Detroit. These are the guys who scored the runs in the first. Baez with a bolt. Back left field, forget about it. That's his first of the year. Wow. Javi Baez carries the first section of seats in left, almost to the second level of seating out there. A hanging breaking ball he did not miss. His first of the year for two Tigers. Beatty grounded the first his first time. Wentz delivers a breaking ball line to center a base hit. Beatty had a homer against the lefty a couple of days ago. Now it's bobbled and centered by Green. Rolls behind Verling, who was backing him up. Finally, Verling plays it in, and Beatty is standing at second. And here's Nito. First ball swinging, hits it on the ground. Base hit going into left field. Beatty will go to third and stop there. Haas hurls it in over the cutoff man. Caroms off the catcher. Rogers rolls towards the dugout. Beatty comes in to score standing as Rogers picks the ball up at the on deck circle. And going down to second is Nito. The Mets have tied or at least now come to within a run at four to three they have the tying run at second Lindor has struck out and fly to right Lindor flies one deep to left back goes it is at the wall and it's out of here Francisco Lindor gives the Mets the lead with a two-run homer
And it's 5-4 to four, New York. The ball is flying out of Comerica Park. Lindor's fifth home run of the year, and he crushed it. Home sixth inning, Jimmy Yacobonis out for his second inning. And Green waves and misses and a change up away. Good pitch by Yacobonis, who's retired his first four. That's his second strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Yacobonis. Two out of the sixth. And Torkelson pops this one up, and Alonzo waves everybody away. And Pete puts it away. Six up and six down for Jimmy Yacobonis. Well, Yacobonis has been terrific. Six in a row retired. 2-2 Two -two coming to Rogers, And a ground ball hit to Lindor. It's been a busy day for the Mets infield. Nine up and nine down for Jimmy Yacobonis in relief. 5-4 New York. Tommy Pham having a somewhat resurgent afternoon. That's lined to left field, and Pham's got its wow. third hit. McKinstry was playing toward the gap, and so that ball rolls all the way back to the warning track, and Pham goes to second base. Big day for Tommy Pham, who really needed it. Came into the day 0 for 17, a home run, a single, and now a double. And Adovino, who last pitched a week ago, will take over here in the eighth inning with the Mets leading the Tigers 5 to 4. Now it's Matt Vierling in the air to right field. Get out. Arte's got Get a out. hurry, and he slides, and it drops. Veerling will hold on. Boy, McNeil all the way out there in right field to help out his right fielder who struggled with it. Take advantage of this break. Javi Baez at the plate. Oh, and a oh. Hit Tried to dive out of that right handed batter's box. He had no chance to get out of the way. And the Tigers have a couple of base runners, only one out for Riley Green. Swinging a bouncer down to first. Alonzo's play oh. will be to the bag. Hence there are now two away. Eric Haas needs to come up clutch. Haas with a drive right center field. That is down. One run is home. Here comes another. Haas puts the Tigers back in front at 6-5 Detroit. Boy, have a day, Eric Haas. Gets another one. Almost identical pitch that he hit the three-run homer back in the first. He goes with it and shoots it into right center to score both runs and put the Tigers on top. Detroit's quote-unquote closer. I know A.J. Hinch doesn't like that term, but Alex Lang is on for the ninth in an important situation. Mark Cannon will lead off for New York as we go to the top of the ninth. Rolls it to third for Maton. One away in the ninth. So here's Vogelback, who's been hot with the bat. Popped up. Left center, Green calls for it. That's two in the ninth. Nemo's got 0 for 4, two ground outs, a pop-up, and a strikeout. Sits him down. Ball game for Lang and the Tigers. What a nice comeback win, huh?